Hello everybody, this is Fred Nielsen with a video of the software tour as well as hardware tour of the HTC Legend running Android 2.1 Eclair. So this device is made by HTC, it weighs 4.4, uh, 44 ounces, it has an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen, it has a resolution, a resolution of 320 by 480 um, screen with 3.2 inches big diagonally a 600 megahertz processor and a five uh, 384 megabytes of ram more spectrum it also has five megapixel camera all right so let's get started with the review of the device or with uh, the tour of the device so first of all it has a chin kind of like the HTC hero the um, European release and um, it is not too big. On the right side you have nothing. On the left side you have a volume rocker up and down. Camera, microphone as well as LED flash. On the back, HTC logo. And here it says with HTC Sense. And here we have the hold or turn on button. <laughs> turn on button. And here we have the 3.5mm headset jack for uh, well, music. Here we have the charger. And here we have a home button, a menu button, a back button, and a search button, typical of an Android. So as you may have seen just a few seconds ago, it runs HTC Sense, Sense which is a great skin on top of Android or stock Android. So it, it is, it looks pretty different. All right, so this is the start screen. Start screen. Uh, what you do is you pretty much just slide it down here. Nothing will happen if you slide there, but if you go under that, just well, it'll slide open. All right, so here you can see we have the weather. It is seven degrees, it's raining, and therefore it has a little animation on it, which is kind of cool. Down here you have the, um, the phone button. Here we have the add either widget, program, shortcut, folder button to your home screen. And here we have all of our apps. And you can use this, uh, how's it called? I don't even know what this is called. Scroll ball, I'll just call it. It's, a, it's an optical trackpad, and um, we, it can be used to just move around like that. It, it's actually pretty useful. I like to use it with uh, when I'm going around my home screens. So what's good about Android is you can have all kinds of apps here, like favorite, contacts, a Twitter, calendar, uh, clock with uh, with you, you know the, the apps you use the most, such as messages, mail, internet, camera. Map is a folder, you can just pull in apps there. Here we have emails, Facebook, and um, YouTube. Here we have the weather, very simple and very, very nice. It looks pretty good. And another thing is with HTC Sense running on top, everything looks a little different. And you have the ability to, if you use, um, if you go, for example, you have seven home screens first of all instead of uh, five I believe it is which is quite quite a nice add-on as well as instead of having to scroll through every single home screen you can very easily just pinch to zoom in and just choose the home screen you want to get to and you can do that anywhere whether it's on on any home screen really you, you don't need to be a, a specific place here we have the phone as well uh, this button just takes you to the quick search box. You can search on the internet or wherever on your phone with that. The back button just goes back. The menu button, so uh, look and you can look at all your programs, your scenes. That's actually quite interesting. What it does is it you can have multiple scenes for your um, for your phone. So if you, for example, save this current one, you can it will save where you put all of your widgets and uh, and programs, and you can very quickly access them and um, uh, and you know I can uh, switch them and then basically you can have like if this one called custom you'll press it I'll put it this way you say it to go put on HEC I'll put it on stock one and you can have multiple ones and uh, just switch between them and it's uh, it's actually very useful let's go back to menu uh, we can add we can access the settings here uh, there are all kinds of settings that I'm not going to bore you with uh, being able to go on personalization, you can change the lock screen to uh, 
to, to anything you really want. It has all kinds of cool uh, wallpapers in Android, such as this one. But one of my favorites would have to be this one. I really like that one as well. But my favorite would be this one. Default ringtone, you know, base, basic stuff, really. Let's go back home, menu, wallpaper, add to home. Here, inside of the widgets, the kind of things you can add are widgets such as an analog clock, that's the thing you just seen, bookmarks, calendar, clock, Facebook, messages, and it'll save and be on your home screen. So you don't need to access them in uh, other apps such as the iPhone. You can just access them right from the home screen. Programs. You can quickly link to programs, and for example, if you want to have a button to settings, you can just quickly do that. So, pressing that, you now go to settings. And to delete or move, Android is pretty smart because it lets you know where you can put it. Uh, you can put it in the map, for example, or you can, for example, it, it blocks it here, so you cannot put it there. You can just, you'll have to move it differently, and then you can drag it here to remove it. That simple. We can also add folders and shortcuts to uh, to websites and well all kinds of stuff bookmarks people a, a different a person a contact and just have a link to that right there. So some of the programs we have on this phone is a calculator, calendar, camcorder, a camera. It it basically has has all the features you would want a phone to have. The internet is pretty quick. It has Twitter, Facebook, music videos, you know, the, the stock Android things as YouTube application. It has a very nice integration with Google as well. So email is very nice on this. Another thing that I really like about Android is if you put, for example, just pull down here, you have all of your notifications such as new emails or upcoming calendars. You can access them just right here or if you've foreseen all this, you can just press clear. I got it because there's no SD card and no SIM card because this is a review copy. And I didn't want to put it in my SIM card, so um, that's pretty much it. The uh, I, I'm I very much enjoyed the HTC Sense skin, and if you would like a phone, an Android phone, I definitely recommend recommend an HTC uh, HTC Sense phone because they all, well, not only do they look very nice, very nice eye eye candy, but they work very well and add a ton of capabilities to the usual, not boring but less interesting Android software. So this was just a quick tour of the hardware and uh, software tour. More coming up. A head-to-head uh, -head comparison of the iPod, uh, of, uh, well, the iPhone or iPod Touch. We'll see with that. And uh, a full review coming up as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if, you, if you'd like. Sorry. And comment, like. There's no rating now. It's really too bad. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.